My name is Pedro Morillas. I'm the legislative director for CalPERG, the California Public Interest Research Group. I got my start knocking on doors. I actually started back in 2005 as a, uh, a Canvas director with the Public Interest Network. After a couple years of, um, of being uh, at the very, very grassroots level, um, I wanted to take a shot at um, actually talking directly with legislators and so started out working um, as the legislative advocate um, for CalPERG. So moved up to Sacramento uh, and um, started knocking on different doors, doors in the Capitol instead of out on streets. I think the thing that sets our trainings apart from other organizations' trainings um, is the uh, kind of learn by doing aspect of it. I think a lot of other trainings put a presenter up in front of a room and have people take notes about you know all of their insights about how to do one thing or another. The difference with the public interest network is that we'll put someone up in the front of the room for about five minutes and then they'll get into a small group and work one-on-one -on -one with each and every person in the room and actually make them practice the skill. The chance to actually practice something sort of takes out the, the, the nerves when you actually have to go and do it for real the next time. I came into the network with um, sort of uh, an unruly passion and enthusiasm for politics and for doing something good. The thing that the Public Interest Network has allowed me to do is kind of narrow that focus and become more disciplined um, and essentially be able to create a campaign myself around a specific issue or a specific problem that I've been able to identify through my work and come up with a soup to nuts uh, campaign to fix that problem. My first year up here in Sacramento um, I was uh, in a coalition of groups that were working to pass uh, uh, legislation to undo the foreclosure crisis and make sure that the, the mortgage meltdown never happened again. And I found myself in um, a room with uh, you know, people who were at, at the very least 10 years older than me, um, a state senator who was authoring a bill on this foreclosure legislation that we really liked and were really excited about it. And he was trying to get this coalition to, uh, to support his bill. And we were all sitting around this table and he turns to me first and says, Pedro, will CalPERG support this bill? And that's really when I realized that um, I was working without a net here. There was no sort of, you know, maybe there was no, it was a yes or no answer and I had to give it to him right then and there with all of those people. Uh, you know, and we ended up supporting that bill, working with the coalition, working really closely with that author. The bill passed and now California has some of the strongest foreclosure reforms in the country. Um, but it was um, really sort of a, a wake up call that this was for real and we were going to impact people's lives uh, in, a, in a significant way and I thought that was the coolest thing that I had ever done. <laughs> we get all sorts of people who come in who um, have different sorts of talents. Some people are really good public speakers, some people are excellent writers, some people are just incredibly creative. Um, but then, it, it, and the Public Interest Network does two things. One, it takes people who are really good at one thing and makes them better at that, but then it also works with them to get better at um, becoming a, a total package, I guess, a total activist, um, not just reliant on one skill, not to be pigeonholed in one way, but to be mm -hmm. um, good at writing, to be good at um, uh, public speaking, to be good at lobbying, um, and just uh, to be good at going out and knocking on doors and talking to strangers. Uh, I mean, all of these things are incredibly valuable.